Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse Photon on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, in order to install Eclipse, you need to have Java installed on your system. So in order to install Java JDK, you just need to uh, go to your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. And if you want to install uh, Java JDK 8, then you can uh, click on this link, which says Java SE Development Kit 8. And this will uh, redirect you to uh, this page where you can install uh, Java Development Kit 8 on your Windows 10 operating system. So you just need to uh, accept the license agreement and then you can just download this executable file and run it and java will be installed if you want to install uh, the latest version of java which is java jdk 10 at the time of making this video then you can click this link which says java se downloads i will put the link in the description so you can directly click on this and then you just need to uh, go to this uh, page and you can see Java platform JDK 10 is uh, the latest version. So I'm going to click on this. And once again, you just need to do the same. You just need to accept license agreement and then you can uh, install JDK 10. So whatever version of uh, JDK you want to install, you can install it from this oracle.com website in case you face any problem in the installation of java jdk i have already created a video in which i have shown you how to install java 10 on your uh, windows 10 operating system so first watch that video install java jdk on your windows 10 operating system and then come to this video so once you have java installed on your system we are ready to install Eclipse on our Windows 10 operating system. So just uh, once again, go to your favorite browser and uh, search for Eclipse. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org. So I'm going to click on this link and uh, you can uh, directly see this download button on the top. Or if you want to learn more about the latest version, which is Eclipse Photon, you can uh, click on the learn more button also which is going to redirect you to the eclipse photon page from here also you can just click the download button so i'm going to click on the download button and now i can see uh, this uh, web page and here i can see the download button and this file will be installed so this file will be an executable file which we can execute on our windows 10 operating system so i'm going to click on this uh, downloads button and you can see the download of this Eclipse minus inst minus uh, win64.exe has been started. So I will wait for the download to complete. So now this executable file is downloaded on my system. Don't click on this uh, executable file yet. I'm going to go to the folder where it's downloaded. So I'm going to just say show in the folder where it's uh, downloaded and here it is in my downloads folder so i want to open it as an administrator okay so just right click on this executable file and then just click on this option which says run as administrator okay this is important and then click yes and i'm going to minimize this uh, folder explorer and i'm going to minimize this browser also and once your eclipse installer is started you will see the interface like this. So you will be able to uh, download a Eclipse IDE for Java developers from here or Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers or Eclipse IDE for C++, PHP and other languages. So what we are going to do is we are going to install uh, the first option which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So I'm going to click on this option and now you will see the next window here and this will be the location where Eclipse IDE will be installed and then it says create a start menu entry and create desktop shortcut I want both of them so I will leave everything as default and I'm going to click on the install button and first of all you will see this kind of uh, license terms and conditions so I'm going to click on accept now 
which is going to start the installation of Eclipse IDE. So now the installation of this Eclipse IDE has been completed and I can see this uh, launch button. So I'm going to click on this, which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE on my Windows 10 operating system. And first of all, when Eclipse IDE starts after the installation, it will ask you to select a directory as a workspace. So if you want to change this uh, workspace directory, you can uh, browse for that directory which you want to set it as a workspace and then uh, you can uh, just click on use it as a default and then i'm going to just click on uh, the launch button which is going to launch the eclipse ide and now you can see this eclipse ide has been started so let's create a java project in order to verify if everything is working fine so first of all what i will do is i will just click on this file option and I'm going to just go to new and then I'm going to just uh, click on this option which says uh, Java project and then I'm going to just uh, give the name of uh, my Java project which is hello world and then you can see under JRE Java SE 10 is chosen automatically by Eclipse IDE for us if you have the different version other than uh, Java SE 10 then that version will be displayed here okay and then uh, under the project layout there are two options use the project folder as the root for the source and the class file and the other is create a separate folder for source and class file so i will also leave this as a default and i'm going to click on the next button and here you will be able to do uh, more settings about your java project i'm going to leave everything as default and i'm going to click on finish and I'm going to just click on create button. And this is going to create your hello world Java project. Now you will see here, this Java project is not shown here because I need to minimize this welcome window. So just uh, click on this minimize button, which is going to minimize this welcome window. And then you will be able to see this uh, kind of hello world project here. So you can see our Java project has been created and this has a, a file called module-info.java. For now, I'm going to just uh, remove this file and I will uh, create a new uh, class file. So I'm going to just right click on the source and then I'm going to choose new and then I'm going to choose the class option from here. And I want to name my class as a demo, for example. And then I'm going to leave everything as default and in here under which method stub would you like to create i'm going to choose this checkbox which says public static void main which is going to create this uh, public static void main method for me and i'm going to click finish for now and this is going to create this demo.java class and here you can see public static void main method has been created so let's print something so i'm going to just write uh, system dot uh, out dot print ln for print line and uh, let's print hello world for now so i'm going to just write hello world in between the double quotes and i'm going to save this java file and i'm going to run this uh, java file using uh, this green button here and you can see hello world is displayed on the console so in this way, you can uh, download and install Eclipse IDE on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.